Hey, what's up guys? It's Muggsy and I'm here with a third episode to my Tutorial Tuesday editing series. In this episode, I'll be going over some tips and tricks inside of Sony Vegas Pro. I wanted to do a tutorial on something simple to get the series back up. So, alright, let's get into it. First off, I want to kind of go over some keyboard shortcuts. These are keys on your keyboard that you can hit to make Sony Vegas do some do a couple cool things. So, first off, you have Control Q. That will bring up an audio layer or an audio track. You can hit Control Shift Q and that'll bring up a video track. Now let me drag a clip onto the timeline. Alright, if you highlight a region and you hold Shift and hit B, it will render a RAM preview. Now what this does, it renders what you have on the timeline so you can play it back with no lag. There we go. Once it's done, you can just hit spacebar to play it. Alright, control S saves your project. I'm not going to save this, but that's what control S does. Control Z is undo. Control Shift Z is redo or control Y. If you want to speed up or slow down a clip, you can hold control and drag out the end of your event. Uh, dragging it out will slow it down and dragging it in will speed it up. You can hit S on your keyboard to split your media to make cuts. D will change your editing tool. With this tool, you are able to highlight multiple things on your timeline for selecting and moving and things like that. The U key is for ungrouping events. So I'll highlight these two and hit U and I'll be able to move the event separately. Now, if you select multiple events, you can hit G and you can go ahead and group them back up. I use this mostly when I'm syncing gameplay. The number keys 1 and 3 on your number pad, I call this frame nudging. You can use it to move your event frame by frame. Now I'll zoom in close so you can see. If you select your event, you can hit 1 to move it backwards frames, or 3 to move it forward a few frames. You'll find this one useful when you're trying to perfectly sync out your gameplay. J, K, and L is for normal reverse or sped up playback. Now if you hit L, you'll play it forward. You can hit it a few times to speed it up. And hitting J will reverse. Selecting a track and hitting Z will mute it. And selecting X will solo it. Now a lot of times editors use markers to set sync points. I don't personally use them, but if you would like to, you can hit M on your keyboard to set markers. I personally don't use them because after a while they tend to clutter the timeline. So when I sync, I, I split. I just use splits. I, I'll just cut it with the S key. Now if you just started using Sony Vegas and you split the audio, you'll notice like a quick fade. And that's, those are really annoying to deal with. And in order to get rid of those, you can go to Options and uncheck Quick Fade Audio Edits. And this will go ahead and fix that for you. Now you can split the audio and not have any quick fades. Now you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out on the timeline. And if you hold Control, let me add a few more video tracks. If you hold Control and use the scroll wheel, you can scroll up and down the timeline vertically and shift will scroll horizontally. Control shift wheel moves the cursor in small increments. I don't really use this one much but that's there if you ever want to use it. A simple way to copy an event would be to right click the event and drag. Now let go and you can just move you can either move it or copy it. I use this one a lot when I'm editing the audio with the metals and the gunshots. Once again, that's you just right click the event and move and copy. All right, those are a few of the keyboard shortcuts that I use when I'm editing. So, so let's get on with some tips and tricks. 
Now with Sony Vegas, you are able to move your workstation however you want. And you could even save your workstation. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can head on over to view, windows, layouts, and save layout as. Now you can name it as whatever. I'll just name this default. And every time you use Sony Vegas, you can choose to load up, or it should on startup, load up your workstation. Now starting each project, you wanna go ahead and edit your project properties. You can do that two ways, by clicking this button up here, or going to File and Properties. Now these are my video properties for Halo montages in general. You want to work with 1280 by 720, HDV, 29.9 FPS, frames per second, and uh, you can go ahead and click start all new projects with these settings and it should start every project you do with these settings. When I told you guys you could RAM preview by holding shift and hitting B, a lot of the times it, it doesn't render much. And the reason for that is you need to fix your RAM preview settings. To do that, you can go to options, preferences, video, and you want to edit the dynamic RAM preview max. Your max available will show to the right, and you don't want to make you don't want to make that number exactly what your max available is, because it, it tends to make your computer extremely slow when working in Vegas. So you want to make it pretty close. I my max is seven thousand ninety nine megabytes, so I'll just set it to around five thousand, and you can hit apply and OK, and that will enable you to render longer RAM previews. Now when I'm when I'm working in Sony Vegas. Uh, I always have my preview set to auto. This this just this just helps when previewing things. It um, if you have it set to like full best quality, it's always gonna look choppy and you, you're just gonna have a bad time. So you can just go ahead and set that preview to auto. Now you have a few tools up here. Let me add an effect to the clip. I'll just add a color correction to it. Now this button up here allows you to select a region and the preview and this just is basically showing you the change of the video effect you can choose to show a grid if you're if you're working with text and you want to make sure things are perfectly centered you can use that to save a snapshot of your preview you can hit this button and choose to save it anywhere you want to save it on the desktop and boom there you have a you have a you have a snapshot now I know a few editors don't use the Vegas Explorer. They'll just have another window open to the side where they'll drag their events to the timeline. Um, in my opinion, using the Vegas Explorer is, you know, it, it helps a ton in my opinion. And starting when starting new projects, I'll go ahead and name all the clips that I captured, and they'll show up in alphabetical order here in the Vegas timeline or in the Vegas Explorer, and it is just very useful. You can even preview them by selecting them and hitting spacebar. And so, if you don't use the Vegas Explorer, um, I, I just would really advise you to start using it. All right, audio tweaking. When you shrink and expand or slow down events, the the audio track will expand with it, and when you play it back, it, it sounds a little distorted. <laughs> There's ways to, you know, edit the audio. One way would be to right-click the audio, go to properties, and check pitch change. Alright. Now if you use Vegas and Hapog HDPVRs, a lot of the times you'll see montages with with ghosting like a ghosting effect and that's because these these people didn't disable the resample and I know it's a pain to go with each clip and go to switches and disable resample but there's a way to do that with everything on the timeline at once now if you hit D twice to change your tool to the mass select tool you can select all of the video tracks at once right click and go ahead and disable resample that way Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I hope I was able to teach you a thing or two. 
Uh, if you have any suggestions for next week's tutorial, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll choose my next tip from one of the suggestions. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash mugsdvd, and as always, thanks for watching. familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces.